I am so give you a talk on these motorators and the generator and that ransom tractor over there and especially on this mower I'm going to start on here right this is a 20 inch Cinderella mower it's AS sign for the make of the engine So this runs on petrol and oil. So the petrol goes in here and your oil goes in here. You've got a pipe, two pipes com coming down. In fact that's one pipe, two pipes there. That's for the petrol. Comes right down down to the bottom here, then into the engine. This is is a actually a motorbike engine. So it's got a magneto on it here. So when the engine is running, the oil comes out from here. It's a crank start, so you start it by the handle. So how you start them um, is you push bring the lever in here, pull the choke, tickle it make it laugh here then you start it like this load of compression yeah that's you start them that's the carburetor right let's go down here it's a ransom mark light motor 7a it which 20 inch lawnmower. It's chain driven as you can see. It's very, 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 very heavy. This one. This here, what makes it drive into gear. All the chain driven clutch is underneath here. Now, look at this. This has got a Turn on it, yeah, and the old fashioned fan belt as well, and chain. So, this one, I need a grass box for this one. If you know where a grass box is, please let me know. I need one for this, and the carburetor as well. Need a new carb and a petrol tap. So that's what this one is. You move cover to oil and grease. I've never had this one running yet, so there's no spark on it. Next. This is an old vintage Landmaster, same as that was a very vintage Romar. So this is a vintage. Master, what I bought from the auction from the Dorset Steam Fair. This is a different engine on it. Uh, the other engine is on the Land Master, what I got. One like this. So I rebuilt this engine. So you can see, this is the older version. Model is 100 Land Masters Limited. So this is the old Landmaster, so which I'm still working on. Uh, so I need to put a new plate. Engine is okay, and get the bits and get this one running again. But right, this one has been done. It's, it owes me now six hundred pounds, and that's how much I spent on it. So it's bridge and threat an engine. The horsepower engine with the old fashioned carburetor and the air filter. Brand new exhaust. That was 
the ambulance. So, Mary Water Teller, pattern is 714394. Serial number is MT329114. Water Engineering Limited, Birmingham, England. So this engine is 67 years old. So I was saying about this, wasn't I? This one, all they're worth on this, this thing, and the frames, is here, and the gearbox is here. That's all I have, nothing else. No engine. No tides, no wheels, no depth bar, no throttle, no clutch lever, no clutch spring, no belt. Look at the grips. So, what I have to do is completely rebuild it right up. And that's what cost me £600 to do it. Quite a lot. But anyway, it's up the money now. One problem is they always have petrol leaks from these petrol taps. So what I've done, I put a insert there, new petrol pack and a brand new petrol pipe. Then you put a, a inline petrol filter in. I rebuilt the carb. That cost me eighty pounds just to rebuild this with all the bits in. Anyway, it's all working now. Generator Markham. This is a IC engine oil guard with an oil warning light. Choke and off and on, start it. So we bought this one and quite a bit of money. Um, the engine, well, ah, I can hear a tractor now. There's a light on it. So that's the generator. So, the engine didn't work at all, but I got it all working again. So, and it um, runs electric. Generator works, and the electrics work on it as well. So, which is good. Next, this is a Mary Water tier as well with reverse gear on it. Mary Water Mary Tear pattern is 714394, serial number is 45231, Water Engineering Limited, Birmingham, England. Now, this is different. Now, these always are petrol leaks from these taps here. Then, they always leak. This is a neat, very vintage. This one has a reverse gear on it. Here. Yeah. So, when you press the. So, that's. So this is drive, here, put it down there, and if you want to do reverse gear, you press 
this lever here goes on down on to left, like this. That's reverse gear. I oh yeah, I've just got this one, so it needs brand new belts. As they you can you, you can see they crack, and this one, it just needs a service. Let's put a kit, and you can put all vintage instruments on it. So I got a mower gold on here. You see the scythe sticker bar goes on the front of that. Of course, that's what cut my finger. Sliced it. Nice bit of kit. I'm looking for another one of these with, with reverse gear on it. If you know where one is, please let me know. No, reverse power spade. Oh, yeah, this is the rotor rate for that is 1964. Power spade beaver. No, that. Right, pick this up about seven, eight years ago, this one. Which is really good. This one has got reverse, but how you do it in reverse, you turn the blades around. So you undo this, turn it, that goes down, then then it goes in reverse. It's a bridge on an engine. Again, three horsepower engine. Which is nice, fast and slow, quite easy to start. This is about some as well. This is old, I mean, it's got the original tires on it here. It's a business threatening engine. I just done the engine on this one. Five volts. It's actually a mower, really. I've got the deck, but I just use it to show like this. And it's it's a three-speed gearbox and one reverse and neutral, and it's got a, a gear crash gearbox on it. So you can't change gear. So you stop, and then put it into gear. Right, that's all I'm going to. Use say at the moment so let you have a look around now And thank you for watching. Please subscribe and comment how good this video was. Thanks for there's a tractor cutting the grass at the moment, that's what's happening. That's what I'm looking at. The topper. Do a close up if I can. There we are. So the tractor is cut the grass in the next few woods. Thanks for watching. Speak to you soon.
from lockdown 50. Bye.